I'm Ryan Calais Cameron. I'm the director of Resonate. I'm Tonga Mwanza, and I'm the writer and the performer of Resonate. What is Resonate? Resonate is a one-man show. Um, it's about a man named Jacob who is dealing with lust. What inspired you to write Resonate? This subject matter is not really spoken about, talked about amongst, uh, amongst young men. It's very dear to my heart, you know, as young men. Uh, we don't really talk that much, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, this this is something that is, it's almost seen as a taboo, it's not really spoken about, it's not really touched, it's too, it's, it's very sensitive, you know what I mean? And I wanted to, um, I wanted to shed light on it and I wanted to, you know, uh, bring um, an understanding on the subject, you know? And uh, we are going to be looking through the eyes of Jacob, who is wrestling with, um, this this um this lust and he doesn't know how to deal with it. We we follow Jacob through this journey from 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 beginning to end, and the music the music they complement and they tell the story too. As an artistic director, a big part of my job is to find the best talent, to find emerging talent, and most importantly to find uh, the best stories out there and the best storytellers. And I'm always looking for what's different. How are you telling this differently? We have rapping, we have dancing. In this show, we have miming, we have R&B, you know? We have diff the, the music and the collection of music. Throughout the whole play, it's very lyrical. What it was for me was the way you were telling it, was the subject matter like you just touched upon. Hijacking my mind, forcing me to drag myself into an invisible cage of isolation. It was like, okay, yeah, we can add to the canon of what it means to be young and to be black right now yeah. with a story that I've never heard Done before we've definitely thrown out the rule book with this one and like I just said the way you tackled it um, in terms of the form in terms of what we can do to I always want to be able to go okay cool this is the rule book we've learned that let's rip it up how does it feel to direct a show in one of the biggest fringe festivals in the United Kingdom um it's a big opportunity it's a, it's a very big opportunity so uh, my company Nouveau Reach were collaborating with Bolt Fest on this, you know, we had a conversation in the summer and um, we've been making Fringe Theatre for over three years now. So it was a massive opportunity to go to the Edinburgh Fringe and then to bring something a little bit more local. So what we discussed is to how do we get the best artists in the city to turn up? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And to get their audiences to turn up. So for me to be able to direct one of those shows, it's massive. It's a massive opportunity, you know. The matter, the different types of people that are going to come, mm -hmm. that come through the city. We're in the heart of London. Mm -hmm. It's an easy place to get to. And um, it's a brilliant platform. You know, there's been so many shows that have come to the Bolt Festival and gone on to Edinburgh or gone on to uh, New York or Chicago or, or, or India, do you know what I mean? So for me as an artist, I always want to be in a place where, where people can come and see what I do. Do you know what I mean? I don't even like talking about it too much. Even this interview was a lot for me. Um, <laughs> I don't like talking too much. I'm like, yo, you want to know? Come and see what we're doing. Because I believe myself as a director, as an artistic director, Move or Reach, we're doing big stuff. We're doing exciting stuff. Mm. And it was an exciting project. So as much as it was an honor to do it at the vault, it was an honor to do it in general. <laughs>